Well, first, I think uh, Annie and I are very sorry we couldn't be there today for this is a rather uh, historical day for our history site, historical site, as it joins the Ohio History Connection. That house saw many, many changes through the years, and those were memorable days. It was like small town Ohio in that it's almost an ideal place to grow up because you pretty much had had free run of the town. When I was a kid there in New Concord, I, I knew practically everybody in town and they knew me. So I have a, a million memories of that, of that old home, but uh, mainly of my mother and dad and the influence they had and, and uh, high school and high school athletics and and uh, those things that uh, were such an important part of our lives back in those days. When they came to me and said they would like to use my old home there and make a historic site out of it, uh, I, I didn't know exactly what to expect. But I, I said the one caveat I had was that it be used for as many school groups as possible. Uh, school groups who could come and get an appreciation of what things were like in, in the days in New Concord when, when I was growing up and Annie was growing up there. And uh, they were the days of the Great Depression when we were in our early teen years. During the days of the Great Depression, I don't think most people these days uh, realize how tough some of those days were. And it was not unusual at all to have somebody walking along the road come up and knock on the front door and uh, ask for something to eat. They were hungry, there was hunger. And people and mother would always fix them a, a plate of food of some kind and they'd sit on the back, back steps and have a bite to eat. And so those were tough days. And then you come up to some of the memories too of World War II days when, when uh, I was gone most of that time because right after Pearl Harbor I volunteered for the military and was in, in flight training, naval aviation flight training, but during those war years uh, there on the site now, of course we have on display uh, some of the old ration books that you had to have. To, you had a ration book before you could buy so much meat every once in a while and, and uh, coupons to buy gasoline for the car. So when student groups come in there now, I hope it's an education for them, and that's, that's what we hoped it would be, and we wanted to continue to be, be part of that as part of this new connection. But I hope they also come away inspired a little bit to realize that, that everything that went before them is a building block for their launch pad, in effect. They realize that just as I started out there in the, in that home in, in New Concord and through education and all of the experiences we had there, that became a, a basis for all the things that we were able to do later on. I hope it encourages them to realize that they don't have limits. They, their limits are only in what they set themselves. And so they can, they can use a start in New Concord and a, a start through appreciating the history of of what we were able to go to accomplish there. Uh, they can use that as an inspiration for their own efforts for the future now.